right now. Jeff Skinner joining us to talk about how it all came together for this group today with all the line combination changes that we spoke of from Phil Housley going into this one. Jeff, you were presented with a nice opportunity to play with Jack. And even though you haven't had a ton of time, I'm wondering how you would describe today's affair with him and Pominville. Yeah, I thought the line played, played pretty well. I think uh, Palmer and Ike did a great job uh, working down low. I think a uh, majority of our offense was created off the, off the cycle. I think, uh, I think all six D-men did a great job of, of being up in the play and, and making it harder for them to break out. And um, we were able to spend some time down there and, and, and generate some success. Jeff, in the last game against San Jose, Jack had a couple of wraparound chances where he's trying to jam it in. Uh, your situations today were a little different. Can you take us through, you know, the patient approach that you had where you kind of faded away from the goal and, and delivered there, and then uh, and then what transpired before the second one where you, you know, had quick open up a little bit? Yeah, the uh, first one, I think uh, I think Jack and, and Palmer did a great job cycling down low. And then once I got the puck, I just try to maybe generate a little space for myself to get it off. And um, fortunately, it sort of found a hole there under his arm. And then the second one, again, sort of, uh, I, th I think sort of, I don't know how the puck got to me, but it seemed like almost like a broken play. And um, when I brought it around, I think he made a lost track, made a lost track of the puck for a sec. So I just try and uh, just try and put it on the net. And, and uh, fortunately, it went in. Now, not only uh, obviously the goal is the best part of it, but it seemed like you were a little fired up with that one, uh, pointing to the back of the net and uh, and being excited at how it went in. And and that was kind of when I realized the success that you've had against Los Angeles over the course of your career. Uh, has there been something, you know, as far as an internal personal rivalry you've had against the Kings where you've had success against Quick and them? Um, I don't know. I think over the years, maybe I think, but sometimes I think uh, it's just the heat of the sort of the moment. I think it's it's an emotional game out there. Sometimes you get fired up. For us, I think as a team, we want to have a bounce back game, and um, I thought everyone contributed. It was it was a great team win and uh, and a good response by our team. Yeah, 10 and 13 games now against LA. Hey, what was with the Fanuf? Uh, you know, I know you just said heat of the moment stuff. Is there uh, any more history there? No. Yeah, I think just heat of the moment. Obviously, uh, he's a little bit bigger than me, so. Um, just trying, uh, just trying to battle. I think, and uh, I think down, down in th their D zone. I think in offensive zone, you try and create space for yourself, and um, it's, a, it's a physical game. I think, and, and sometimes those things happen. I think our team. I think all year, you saw it with Oki, you saw it with Bogo uh, earlier, and I think uh, we have sort of that that uh, mentality that uh, we're all going to stick up for you one another, which is which is a nice feeling.